Hi everyone, in this video we'll cover how to read the ANSI tables, also called the AQL tables. AQL is a concept we'll cover in this video. ANSI is actually the body that issued one of the standards, the commercial standards, that replaced Military Standard 105E, from which these tables um, originate. Just a few, uh, just, just a little bit of background. Uh, we cannot always do 100% inspection on a batch before accepting it. Just imagine checking, um, you know, 200 pieces of sofas or checking bullets, you know, used in a gun. You know, either it's, it takes forever or it destroys the samples. So the question is how many samples to check. We strongly advise to follow statistics rather than a fixed percentage like 10%. In this video, we'll, we are going to apply the widely used settings that are normal severity and level 2. We will not go into the other types of settings. So as we said, the, the first question is how many samples to check. Well, the second question is what are the rules for accepting or rejecting the batch? And that's what we call the AQL, Acceptance Quality Limit that should be agreed on by the supplier and the buyer before the inspection. That's the rules, the rules of the game. All right. Usually uh, for consumer goods in China there are three different types of AQLs because three different types of defects are, um, are considered. The critical defects, the major defects and the minor defects. And the AQLs are different, 0, 2.5%, 4.0%. That's in most cases. Okay. Let's take an example. You buy 40,000 pieces of memory sticks. You follow a single sampling plan. As we say, normal severity level 2, and the AQLs are 0, 1.5%, 4.0%. For the major defects, when it comes to electrical, electrical products and electronics, very often it's 1.5%, not 2.5%. The first step is to go and get the code letter, and this is very simple. You can see it in this table. You bought 40,000 pieces, so it's in this um, interval. We say level 2, so the, the letter is N. Okay, very easy. Second step is to go to another table and get the sample size and the AQLs. So sample size is N. Uh, sorry, the code letter is N, so your sample size is 500. After that, you said 0% for critical defects, so no need to calculate it's 0. If you find one critical defect, it's rejected. When it comes to major defects, if you find up to 14 defects, it's accepted. If you find 15 or more, it's rejected. When it comes to minor defects, well, we're going to say, we're going to pretend there's 21 and 22 here. Um, so 21 or below is accepted, 22 or above is rejected. Why do I not go up like it says right here? Use the first sampling plan above the arrow if you find an arrow. So in theory, we should go up and find, check on if 315 samples and follow this. OK, but we're not really abusing the standard because it says that if there are different classes of nonconformities, and that's what we are doing with the critical major and minor categories of defects, it's fine to use the largest sample size for all classes of nonconformities. So 500 pieces for critical major and minor defects. Okay. So conclusion: you check 500 samples. Your um, the inspection is accepted if you find no more than zero critical defects and no more than 14 major defects and no more than 21 minor defects. So if you find, let's say, 17 major defects, that's above the limit. Even though the other findings are below the limits, it's rejected. So you need to be below the three limits at the same time. If you find everything below the limit, so at the limits, it's accepted. So if the limit is 21 for minor defects and you find, you find 21 minor defects, it's accepted, even though the buyer is probably not very happy 
because the average quality is probably not very good. Let's do the same example with a double sampling plan this time. So we're going we're gonna to go a little bit fast on this. For simplicity, let's just look at major defects. So for the code letter, it's exactly the same tables. So it's still N, because you still purchase 40,000 pieces. You still follow level 2. And then it gets a little bit more complex here. So as we said, we only look at the major defects. So let's say 1.5% 1 .1, is your AQL. Okay, so it gives you some numbers. Um, it's a little bit bigger here. Uh, I zoomed up. So first, 315, 711. Second, 315, 1819. What does it mean? First, you pick 315 samples. Then, if you find 7 or below, it's accepted. If you find 11 or above, it's rejected. These are the clear cases. Then there are the unclear cases. 8, 9, 10, you're not really sure. So you go for second sampling, check 315 samples again, and then the, 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 the limits here are very clear, 18 and 19. I wrote this in uh, detail here, so make sure that 18 and 19 are the total number of defects, including the first 315 samples that you checked. All right, I hope it was um, useful and clear. So if you want to read more articles or view more videos, you can go to my blog, qualityinspection.org. Thank you very much.